Well, you may want to think twice about what you're putting on your plate. A new report shows obesity rates are set to skyrocket by the year 2035. And we're also learning new information about a shortage of asthma medication, a potential treatment option for those at risk of heart disease or heart attacks, a lot sure. of exciting stuff and a lot, a lot of, of concerning stuff. Sure. Our medical correspondent, Dr. Corey Abair, has all we need to know. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, you know, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on out there right now, folks. And so the first thing we're going to talk about is this obesity report, right? We know that there is a big increase in obesity across the United States. But the data is showing now that over half the world is going to be obese by 2035. Wow. Now, 2035 sounds like a Jetson year to me, like, it oh, does. that'll never be here. Uh -huh. But we're 2023 right now. That's not far away. And we're talking about the world, not just the United States. And the reason why is because we know sedentary lifestyles. That is a major problem. It always has been. And the COVID-19 pandemic pushed that over the edge. You could press a button and get high fat, very processed food to your door in 20 minutes. You know, screen time, you know, these all things are, are really attributing to this. And we have to stop with these fad diets. We have to stop with, look, right now, calories in, calories out. It's a numbers game, right? Like we've talked about before, shashing around the track at Joe Brown Park or at Audubon Park, <laughs> you know, with a smoothie, walking for 30 minutes, saying that you're exercising. That's not, that's not exercise. But also, you cannot exercise your way out of a bad diet. So I don't care if you work out an hour a day. If you still eat over 15 calories for every meal, uh, three meals a day, there's no way for you to be able to get out of that. So please, folks, we've got to do better. Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday, mm -hmm. now we need to make it, slim it on down. Let's get it together. Get those uh, New Year's resolutions back. Start making it happen. <laughs> Pull them out of the trash. Pull them out of the trash. Make them work again. Okay, there is a shortage of a certain kind of asthma medication. What kind and why is this happening? Yeah, so this, this is a big deal because asthma is, is very prevalent in, uh, in the United States. It's definitely in New Orleans. And right now the, uh, the allergen is around the air because mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, Mardi Gras kicking up all the dust and also pollen. So right now, albuterol, the rescue medicine, the medicine that you take when you are wheezing, uh, one of the companies has gone bankrupt, which made me feel kind of weird. Like, with all the albuterol they sell, how can you go bankrupt selling albuterol? But anyway, the point is, it's one of them's out. And so there's going to be a shortage. And if you have uh, 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 asthma, you need to make sure that you have a refill on your asthma medication and you need to make sure that yours is full and go get a doctor's prescription so you can make sure you have it because this is a big deal. Okay, it's, it's a certain kind of asthma medication. Albuterol. Can, yeah, but can you, is there an alternative? Is there something else people with asthma can take? N no, this, no. Is, this is, is the, the rescue medicine. Oh, now, geez. the other medicines are for, you know, to prevent asthma, but this is what you take when, um, at the hospital. When you get there, this is what we give you. All right, so this is very important. Yeah, that sounds like a crisis. Yeah, it, it, it's a crisis. Now, the issue, though, is how bad is it going to get? There's another company that's about to step up to try to boost it up. But in that meantime, you don't want to get caught. You can get caught with a lot of stuff, but you cannot get caught without your rescue albuterol inhaler. Very important. All right. For those people who have cholesterol issues and their body can't handle statins, there is a yes. new cholesterol me medication that could be a game changer. Tell us all about this. Sure. And, and this one's good, right? I mean, the, the, the study shows 13,000 people. This, de this drug actually decreased the amount of uh, heart attack and um, stroke by about 13 to 22 percent. It kind of all depends on the, on the outlook of the study. But the point is that this is really big. The, the drug is called Nexlatol. And um, most of the time, people don't take statins because they can cause a lot of side effects like low platelets, uh, sleep problems, muscle pain, but mostly that muscle pain. And so this drug is not uh, targeting the muscle, it's targeting the liver, so therefore you don't have the muscle pain. We gotta remember that um, heart disease is the number one cause of death. Number one cause mm -hmm. of death. Say, I want to say that again because people think it's cancer. People think of lots of things, but it's heart disease, and that's women, men, black, and white. So what we have to remember is that anything that can decrease our cholesterol is very important. you got to take your statins, and this is not a substitute for a statin. The statin is still the first line, but this medicine is going to be able to be used. Now, there's only one little side effect that I don't like, and one of them is you could get the gout. Now, oh, people geez. say the gout. It's actually gout, right? <laughs> but in New Orleans, we say the gout. And, and it's, but it's a low side effect. So I, when you see that, I don't, like, I don't want you to say, oh, Lord, I can't take this because I'll get the gout. Please, take this medicine if you cannot take a statin because we want you to lower your cholesterol. Like, quit eating all that bacon and egg in the morning for breakfast. If you're not hungry in the morning, don't eat. You don't have to just eat breakfast. I, I get on the soapbox about this because 
Uh, we'll talk about that later. So we'll talk. breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. You know, if you're not hungry, why are you eating? You're not about to go work out in the field somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Please, you know, let's cut back on this food intake. Please. All right, great information as always. I love you. <laughs> Dr. Oh, Amber, you. thank you. Of course, he visits every Tuesday on the Eyewitness Morning News. So if you've missed his previous updates, you can get Dr. Abear's expert opinion on our app, YouTube page, and our website. Just go to WWLTV.com. All right, let's get over.